It's invisible, it's deadly, and it's devouring everything in its path. The most colossal black hole ever discovered is now on a collision course with Earth. So, what exactly is a black hole? In simple terms, black holes are just objects with mass, like stars or planets, except they're unimaginably dense. At their core lies a singularity, a point so small and compact that all its mass is crammed into it. The more mass a black hole contains, the more intense its gravitational pull becomes. Most black holes form from the remains of giant stars and typically weigh between 10 and 100 times the mass of our sun. And just so you know, one solar mass equals 333,000 Earths. That's a massive gravitational force. But then there are the heavyweights of the universe, supermassive black holes. These monsters live at the centers of galaxies and can be millions or even billions of solar masses. And there's an even bigger category, so-called stupendously large black holes or slabs, tipping the scales at up to 100 billion solar masses. Now imagine one of these giants, say, Ton 618, the largest black hole we've found so far, with a staggering 66 billion solar masses, headed straight for our solar system. It's making its way across the universe. And if it really were heading this way, it would travel at least 10 billion light years to get here. Along the way, it would consume everything in sight. Clouds of gas, loose particles, and countless stars. By the time it reached the Milky Way, it would have absorbed enough matter to start warping the very structure of our galaxy. We'd see it coming by the intense radiation it emits as it devours more and more. Eventually, it would reach the Orion Arm, our little corner of the Milky Way, and begin tearing through it, consuming star systems and planets like a cosmic buffet. One of its first stops would be the Oort Cloud, a distant halo of icy debris encircling our solar system. Gone. Next, it would devour the Kuiper Belt beyond Neptune, flinging thousands of frozen objects in our direction. Then come the planets. Neptune and Uranus would be swallowed up. Saturn and Jupiter, torn apart molecule by molecule. Moons, asteroids, space probes, all would vanish. And Mars? Say goodbye to any hope of settling there. Eventually, Earth would be next. As Ton 618 closed in, we'd find ourselves at the edge of its event horizon, the ultimate boundary where escape becomes impossible. The gravity would stretch our planet like taffy, then compress it into nothingness, a process known as spaghettification. With one final gulp, the black hole would consume the sun, and Ton 618 would now dominate the center of our former solar system, its reach extending nearly to where the Oort cloud once was. But it wouldn't stop there. Next, it would drift toward Sagittarius A star, the supermassive black hole at the center of the Milky Way. When the two finally collided, the impact would send gravitational waves rippling through the very fabric of space-time itself. And you? Well, the moment you crossed that event horizon, your fate was sealed. What happens beyond that? That's a mystery still waiting to be unraveled. Like and subscribe to get more information like this.